Hey guys, uh, I just wanted to do a quick Nearpod um, tutorial because I'm not sure if you guys have used it or not um, at school. And so if you haven't, this is my first time to use it. And so uh, I just wanted to kind of show you some tips. Whenever you go to Nearpod, and these in Google Classroom, lesson one and lesson two for this week are going to be Nearpods. Um, so when you go there, you're going to go to the link. It's going to take you to the screen. You're going to type in first and last name. Okay. Um, I need both first and last name because I have several Ethan's. I have several, um, Drew's. I have several other names that pop up the same. Um, so I need first and last name there and then hit join session. The first lesson is going to have a video where I teach you guys a little bit and talk through some stuff. And then you're going to watch that. And then there's a cheat sheet for notes. And then there's a quiz. The quiz is your assignment for this week. And so you're going to go through and answer the quiz. I'm just guessing. I don't know these answers. I'm just going to put A for everything. I already did this earlier, so that's why it's showing my uh, stuff. Right? Can I move this? Okay, that's annoying. Apparently, I can't move this, and I was going to show you guys. Let me see if there's a way. Let me turn that off for a minute. Yeah. So right here is you're going to hit submit, and when you do that, it's going to tell you like how you did on the quiz. Okay, so I didn't do so hot. Um, that's going to be your grade for the week. Okay, and then you're going to go to the next thing, and there's an open-ended question. And the same thing, you're going to answer it, and then you're going to hit submit again. Okay, and then it asks if you want to start over or you can exit. Okay, we're just going to exit because we're done with that one. Um, yes, are you sure you want to exit? And then that's going to be it for that lesson. Um, lesson two is really similar. Uh, it is going to have a matching feature. So I'm going to show you that real quick. Um, this is going to look a little different because I'm going to sign in with my, my teacher thing, my teacher sign in. You'll still go to Google Classroom, either grab, there'll be a code and you can just go to nearpod.com and enter the code or you can uh, click the link. There'll be a link to just click to go straight to the Nearpod lesson. So for lesson two, it's very similar. The only difference is there is a matching game. And so it's just easy vocabulary matching. Uh, and when you get there, all you do is click. It tells you match each vocabulary word with each, its definition. So like if my word is maximum, I'm going to go click what I think the definition is. If I get it wrong, it's just going to give me an X like you just saw. And then if I get it right, whoops, maximum is, where is it? The difference, oh, the largest. It gives you a check mark, and then you go through and match them all, okay? Then you'll go to the next thing. It's the cheat sheet again. And then there's going to be another quiz. I just wanted you to be able to see that you're gonna go through an answer and then here it pops up at the bottom right and says submit. That's where I'm gonna get your grade for the assignment. Um, and then you'll go back to Google Classroom when you finish the Nearpod lesson, go back to Google Classroom and hit turn in. That just lets me know that you're done with that lesson on Nearpod, okay? So just because we haven't used Nearpod, I wanted to kind of show you what it looks like. It's very easy, very user-friendly. But if you have any questions once you get started, don't hesitate to send me a message. Um, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.